So now we move on to the big lads. We've got a heavyweight fight here between Joe Kearns of Kaizen and Jamie McDonald, who's now representing Submission Factory. I've watched both these guys before. Uh, Jamie McDonald's been around for a few years. He is from up north originally, trained with a couple of different teams, and he always brings uh, a, a very hard-hitting style. Joe as well as uh, an absolute unit, so I wouldn't fancy getting getting hit off him personally. Yeah, uh, this is the last amateur match of the day, and um, you say heavyweights. Well, this, this is really super heavyweights. Look at the size of these guys. Yeah. I mean, uh, 120 kilos. Um, big, big, big man. <laughs> 120 kilos. I wouldn't that's want to be nearly double. That's you know. like about double me. I'm like 68 kilos or something. And that's Joe entering the cage now. And experienced guys as well. Uh, Joe's coming in with four wins, no losses. Yep. And. Jamie, we've got uh, three wins and three losses, so yep. six fights. Jamie's looking in, in good shape, probably the best shape I've seen him of recent. He's got um, Mop in his corner and also Rab Truesdale, pro heavyweight. So it'd be a, a, an interesting, uh, sorry, an intelligent move for him to go to the submission factory because he has one of the more experienced professional heavyweights in the country to, to train with. So good idea. Yeah, it's always very hard when you're heavyweight trying to find good opponents and, and guys to train with because uh, there's not that many of them about <laughs> sorry we're taking a moment people I think we're having a wee, a wee camera issue for a second <laughs> nice and we're on that's Jamie walking down now Would you rather fight two me-sized Jamies or one Jamie-sized Jamie? That's, big man. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's a tough one. <clears throat> I'm taking two one, of me. I think one because I could see I could see it all, all at once. There's two because sneak up. <laughs> so here we go. This is going to be a, a hard-hitting contest for sure. And we're underway. Glove touch. Jamie, the inside leg kick. Joe just the jab. Good left hand there from Little Joe. Little short left hook. From what I've seen of Joey, he, he, he has a boxing heavy style. Nice, strong low kick by Jamie there. Blast double by Side Jamie there. there. Yes, and straight to the back. He's back on his feet, but he's in a dangerous position there. Yeah. I think Jamie's looking to try and drag him down there, but Joe's quite solid on his uh, his frames in his hand there, straightened out nice. So he's gone to that seatbelt position now. Needs to get hook. a hook in, needs to get really. a hook. I thought he was going to... I thought we were going to see a big uh, body slam. <laughs> a big yeah. body slam there and a big hole <laughs> like in the a cage. A big WWE <laughs> one. I think Jamie's still got the body locked there. If he He's drops that left. into oh. him now, yeah. Yeah. He's keeping him off with that wizard at the minute and just fighting that right arm off on the inside. That with was there. definitely in the bollocks. Oh, nice, yeah, nice right two shot the out yeah. there. And that sounded like a slap rather than a fist yeah. there. Yeah, another it? nice take down there, the knee tap there. Nice knee tap. One good thing... They can hear crystal clear advice from the corners, can't they? When it's this quiet is like the, that. yeah, this, this is a thing. You've got to be a good advantage. Your corner can basically can speak to you. Leg out now. 
Especially when, I don't know if viewers realise this, but how much smaller this cage is in comparison to, say, a UFC size cage. Mm. Like, especially if you're dealing in a bigger cage with an audience, it's nearly impossible sometimes for your guys to hear you. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it must make it a lot easier to have that yep. second set of eyes. Yeah, definitely. Jamie's working, trying to get through for uh, a knee slice. Oh no, he's looking to open the guard there with that, that right foot of his. Yeah, just stacking, trying to shake that leg out. He's uh, half guard triangled over the yeah. leg. Yeah. Both guys just chipping away with shots very here. very tight as well, making it impossible to, to get any, any quality shots down. He just needs to posture up and open, but he's also worried about the sweeps as well. Not a hugely high-paced and explosive round. But, um, yeah, we're dealing with heavyweights here, so it could be two seconds and someone could be out cold, you know. So, yeah, it was a good round. I'm, I'm giving that to Jamie. It's quite dominant. Loads of time on, on top position. Joe landed some, some nice shots, but uh, I think I think that top control, the two takedowns, probably give that round to Jamie for me. Yeah, I'd agree with that. He did well with his boxing earlier on, Joe, and then he just kind of got caught up in the clinch a lot. Um, <laughs> see if he can keep it standing this time, yeah, and work his hands a bit more. Yeah because he was successful with those earlier. It's funny how the corners speak nice and loud from outside the cage, but then when they're inside, they're almost whispering as to not let anyone else hear. Good advice, yeah. It's funny, eh? <laughs> We're going on to round two now. Cage door is locked and we're underway. Nice job there from Joe. So Joe again opening with the box in. He's keeping his distance this time. And good leg kicks there back from Jamie. Walks onto that shot though. Be interested to see if Jamie's using this to, to set up another takedown again. Joe oh, that was picks a big his shot shots there. really nice when he's boxing. You can yeah. see he's, he's just watching and looking for openings. Yeah, Good it's experience a big body there. shot there. And yeah, I think if he can keep it there, he'll do a lot better in this round. It definitely is. A, appears to be more of a striker, striker versus grapple kind of match up this. So pulled him down on top. Now he's in half guard. And did he get that out? I can't quite can't see. see from this yeah, side. That is, I'm trying to look. No, look he's still, the, is he still in half guard? Uh, yes. He's no, he's not. No, he's not. He's in mount now. He's, he's in, in mount. He's extending that arm out. Yeah. I genuinely cannot see anything for the the cage door. Um, like he's going for a bigger floor or something. Oh, and now I can't see because the photographer. <laughs> and now Jamie's turning in a little bit now. Yeah, I think he's trying to trap his arm in and roll him off. Ah, right, Jamie needs to look Joe to try and build back up onto his knees now, yeah. here and work up against the fence. It's an awkward position for Jamie because he's got those legs crushed together. Yeah. Inside the mount in a side position. Very hard to get any sort of push off the mat or the fence or anything from there. And we'll remember that these guys are 120 Shrimping kilos out. as well. Yeah. He's looking to just... Yeah, and Joe's just advancing up the body ah, now. Ah, he's got back, he's back to, to that mount position nearly. Almost, yeah. There we go. It's like the opposite of the, the last round, actually. So some good shots there from Joe now. He was able to create some space. He's got the back now, and he's flattened him out. Big shots from Joe oh, on the yeah. top now. The referee may step in at this point, because he's... I, he can't he's see how well he's defending from these. here. Yeah, neither can I, but... but I can't be doing too well yet. That's it. Fate's over. Solid win there from Joe.
couldn't quite see there what was what was going on. We couldn't really. I couldn't see how many of them were clearly landing. Yeah, yeah I couldn't and, see um, what ones landed. He obviously looks upset with yeah. his stoppage. I think he, he thinks it was stopped a little early, but yeah. I saw a lot of shots going down there. Yeah, you just don't you just don't know where they're landing. That's the that's the thing, eh? That was a, a well-matched fight there as well. A well-matched fight, but 